casado, el historial de ella ha aparecido en los periódicos en el Washington Post, en USA Today y en el New York Times. Please give a big round of applause for Marta Fred. Por favor, de So now here why. I came to this country right after September the 11th, and many of you probably remember what a difficult time was in America, and how many of us immigrants were looked down to, right? And when I was in my country, I was one of the most democratic, most engaged, most democracy, civically engaged person cheering for America. And when I came here, I could not believe that people would look at me and would put a label on my forehead saying immigrant. Eso de verdad me sorprendió muchísimo porque préstamos a países de otras personas de todos los éxitos de nuestra país. So I was at home every 
sing old things on my first year in America with my little son, going to children's hospital once a week to work on treatment to see if we can bring this child back to life. But I was alone in this process. Durante el primer año en que viví en Estados Unidos, yo estaba completamente sola, aislada. Le dedicaba a llevar a mi hijo al hospital Children's Hospital para ver si le podíamos hacer un tratamiento para traerlo a la normalidad. Pero estuve sola durante ese periodo. Everything was difficult, and it was difficult for a very long time. I remember every single day of my life in my first year in the United States crying that I need to go back home, and I need to continue to do the important work that I was doing. If I was working on legislation against domestic violence. I knew. I was completely compromised with other matters. I worked in domestic violence, for the rights of women. I had access to many people here. But I never left, and let me tell you why. Pero nunca me fui. Déjeme ustedes decirle el porqué. In January 2002, four months after coming to the United States, I realized something critical to my life. I needed to speak English, and that was the first powerful thing I've done in this country. I learned to speak. Déjeme decirles por qué. En enero de 2002. Aprendí una cosa muy importante para mí. Yo necesitaba aprender inglés. Era muy importante. Eso fue la primera idea y aquí fue cuando aprendí inglés. I knew I was capable. I knew I was intelligent. I knew I could do things with my hands and my mind, but I could not communicate to the people born in this country the way I could communicate with my friends family and politicians in my country asking me out of my isolation Yo sabía que era capaz. make a difference so English was the first thing that would rescue me out of my isolation Yo sabía que era capaz, que tenía, que era inteligente, que podía era para mí aprender inglés para poder defenderme y comunicarme y participar Yo quería ser una persona con, con un peso en este país también so I joined a community college, and I took a couple of classes. I was told that probably I need one or two years <coughs> to take classes to speak very well. But you know what? It took about three months to be able to develop confidence. It was not the language the problem, because 80% of you in this room understand what I'm saying. You just perhaps can't have a conversation with me. But you understand, is that right? Raise your hand. Who understands what I'm saying? Very good. So if you take a class tomorrow, you can change everything in three months. So if you take a class tomorrow, you can change everything in three months. Can you believe me? Say yes or no. Yes. Very good. No um, translation, now we can speak. Do you want me to translate? Entonces, yo me registré en un colegio de la comunidad porque quería aprender inglés. Se me dijo que iba a tardar dos años. Sin embargo, en tres meses podía defenderme y hablar inglés perfectamente. Until the day when I went to school to take English classes, I was a very isolated woman. I lived in a neighborhood with Vietnamese people who didn't speak English, nor Romanian, nor I spoke any of their languages. When I went to school, I made friends. I had a community of support. I knew women like you. And I learned that all these women were talented, skilled, capable, intelligent, creative, passionate, and Hasta purposeful. That's it. Hasta que me registré en la escuela. That's it. Hasta que me registré en la escuela, yo había estado completamente aislada. Pero una vez que estaba en la escuela, me di cuenta que tuve amigos, conocí a varias personas. Me di cuenta que había muchas mujeres, igual que ustedes, que eran capaces, inteligentes, tenían habilidades, que eran creativas y tenían un propósito. These women had inspired me to do something to help them. I did not speak English well, they did not speak English well, but we were all in the same room, equal. For the first time in the United States, I felt equal with someone. I was not looked down, I was not discriminated, I was not labeled. They were my sisters. I was not labeled. They were my sisters. 
Recuerden que antes de entrar en la escuela yo vivía en un barrio donde todo el mundo era vietnamés y yo no hablaba ni rumano ni inglés y yo no hablaba su lengua. Entonces me sentía aislada. Pero una vez estuve dentro de esta comunidad en la escuela y conocí a todas estas mujeres por primera vez, me di cuenta de que no estaba discriminada, que eran todas mis hermanas. Todas estábamos igual en el mismo nivel. Todas hablábamos. Why I came to the United States, I knew why I was here, but I didn't know why they were there. And I didn't know where the husbands were, why only women would take English classes. I was in a very large class, about 90 people, but the majority were women. So I learned quickly. Como ustedes saben, yo soy periodista. Learned quickly. Como ustedes saben, yo soy periodista. Es mi profesión. Y ustedes saben lo que los periodistas a, a, preguntan luego cuentan una historia. Entonces yo quería escuchar las voces de estas mujeres, saber por qué estaban en esa clase conmigo, por qué no estaban sus esposos, solamente las mujeres. Me sorprendió ver que había... ¿Dónde estaban los hombres? Solamente mujeres allí. Y eso me, me, o sea, me impresionó y empecé a hacer preguntas. A lot of those women were there because the husband got a job outside the home, but the woman was left behind to take care of the children, the family, the food, the culture, the language. And every day, day by day, a lot of those women who were very smart, professional, and maybe accomplished, many of them in their countries, would become isolated and will lose their identity and will lose their confidence and self-esteem until nothing was left. They lost hope. <coughs> Después de preguntar, they lost hope. Después, después de preguntar, me enteré que muchas de estas mujeres estaban allí porque sus esposos tenían un trabajo fuera del hogar, lo que significaba que las esposas estaban solas en casa, afrontando la economía de la casa, la comida, la limpieza, el cuidado de los niños, ya, la limpieza, el cuidado de los niños y estaban aisladas, y cada vez más, estaban más y más aisladas. Dentro del hogar, dentro de un núcleo, donde no había nadie que les, las ayudara. So for the first time, those women were in that English as a second language class, because they wanted to do something for themselves, for their children, for their future. They wanted to chase, for the first time, their own American dream. The dream that brought them here to this country. Entonces, querían un cambio, querían aprender, querían afrontar su vida. Por primera vez me di cuenta que ellas querían un mejor futuro para sus hijos, para ellas mismas, y que no se iban a quedar detrás. So education is power. You hear this all the time in this country. The best way to break the cycle of an immigrant isolation is education. Yo sé que usted es igual al poder y por primera vez que estas mujeres querían educarse para poder salir adelante. Recuerden que es muy importante la educación como inmigrante para poder triunfar. The second powerful thing is entrepreneurship. How many women in this room have talents and skills that can be turned into sources of income, into a business? Raise your hand if you understand my question. Very good. I know you could be successful. La segunda pregunta es el, la cuestión de empresa, o sea, de empresa, de hacer una, una empresa empresarial. ¿Cuántas de, de todos ustedes aquí? No te... Maybe you have a very good skill at dancing, maybe music. You see, all those things don't necessarily require English, right? I'm telling you about what to do when English may not be available. Maybe you're good at painting. Maybe you remember stories from your country. Entonces, lo que yo les pregunto es, ¿cuántos de ustedes pueden, por ejemplo, coser o bordar, quizá pintar? To see their passion and turn that passion into a business. And that's what Empowered Women International does today. Yo fui muy afortunada en poder conocer a este grupo de mujeres que tenían tanto talento, tantas habilidades. En dos meses me di cuenta cuál era mi misión aquí, que era poder ayudar apoyar a estas mujeres que tenían 